Hello everybody, this is Ethernet from Minecraft Forums. Last time I made a video was a tour of my world and I had a functional little house around my spawn out here as well as a dock. Uh, I fancied up the house quite a bit, added some tile flooring and uh, functioning doors so I didn't have to hit the doors and then turn around and close them. Uh, I had a dock out here, which I still do, but I've adapted it quite a bit uh, based on a, a thread that was posted on the Minecraft Forums. I believe the guy's name is Enzo. Although I could be wrong if on that. If I am, I apologize. Uh, this is the housing unit for all the um, red wire circuitry that goes downstairs. Hit the button here and a uh, boat pops up. And there it is. Uh, I was messing around with currents to correct the boat, turn it in, turn it so it faces this way. But I was finding that the currents were forcing it to get stuck in the in the dock too often. So I've removed that for now until I can figure out how to make it work better if I can. Um, but basically the idea is here, get the boat out here or you go travel around a little bit. And then when you want to come back, I uh, put some quicksand or mud over here. Uh, so if you run into that, that's okay. It's not going to break the boat. Um, but I made this little ramp here so that the boat drops down and then as you can see, some of the problems people were having were it was coming down and then the, the velocity was too fast, it would hit this water and, and then it would come in and hit this wall and break. Well, since if you if you extend that platform to the point where the water just comes to the brim there, just to the very edge, then it, it slows it down, it bottoms out, and then it just barely gets pushed along until it, it reloads in this queue here. And as you can see, I dug back in the back there so that I could make it longer. Um, and I wanted it to deposit right near the middle of this uh, of this water here, this water flow. So this is my uh, dispenser room. Uh, I've created a button here for to advance the queue. So from down here, I can advance all the boats at once in the case of re reloading, restocking them. Uh, here's my boats here. Uh, you can see, I'll show you some of the red wire circuitry. It's not a big deal. It's not that complicated, but down here this is my advanced cue button um, just basically red light torches underneath the doors and so an inverter here to extend the signal as well as a switch to make it so that it's it's always on which turns these lights off um, that's about it this leads up to the uh, to the switch and then on the other side here this is rather messy but uh, show you just so you can get an idea which this has actually been covered uh, in other threads or in the thread itself maintenance access um, and this is all this this is all the red wire circuitry to the box or to the to the doors excuse me uh, and then these are all um, inverters so that the signal carries all the way up which comes through here and that leads up to the control box upstairs. So uh, that's about it. I will show you just a couple more little things here. Basically, I'll just advance the queue and, and jump in a boat. Right on time. And there we go. Uh, thanks for watching.